Can we take a comfortable position, please? Uh, let's close our eyes. Let's take a deep breath in. Let's hold it for about two seconds. Exhale. Breathe in again. Hold it. Exhale. Let's take one more breath and hold. Let's exhale. Keep the eyes closed. Keep the eyes closed. Take deep breaths when you have to if you feel that the mind is running away. Remember that it is an auspicious day and because of your understanding that there is only so much you can change in life and some things you cannot and you need God's intervention you need his inspiration to survive imagine that Bhagwan is coming to your house today Keep your eyes closed and imagine. Remember that you've cleaned your house thoroughly because last night you dreamed that he's coming. And so you've decorated your entire house. You made a beautiful rangoli in front of your door. You've broken rose petals and they're strewn all the way from your door to your gate, all different colors. You've tied mango leaves around the house. You have soccer leaves, you know, banana leaves on either sides of your door, all to bring in the right vibration for a positive experience. And you can see in the distance, you cannot wait anymore, but you can see in the distance that there's a chariot approaching. You've called all your family members because you suspected it's Bhagavan coming. As the chariot gets closer, you've recognized in this chariot there's Radha Krishna or your favorite form of God on this chariot and you now know that it was not just a dream that Bhagavan informed you that he is coming. You've gotten your entire family and you're blowing the shank and the ganti. Bhagavan is approaching as you got him from the chariot and you observe that there are flower petals sprinkling down from the heavens. Onto Bhagavan Sri Krishna and Radharani and you. Bhagavan has come by your doorstep, your entire family in a trance. You cannot imagine that this is your fortune. You're gazing at Bhagavan, his bluish in complexion. He has his pitambar, his yellow cloth. He is golden in complexion. Bhagavan is dark in complexion. Radharani being golden in complexion, wearing blue clothes. Sri Krishna dark in complexion, wearing pitambar yellow clothes. You realize that this is a, your eternal sambandhi. Your eternal relative has come to your house for the first time. Quickly, you and your whole, your whole family have grabbed your arti, your tali, and you want to give the best welcome to Bhagwan. Show him all the respect and all the appreciation you've prepared arti, and you 
Tali is doing aarti before Bhagwan even enters your home. While doing aarti, you gra- you gazing at his beauty. You want to honor Bhagwan. You put mala around his neck, around the neck of Radha Rani. The devotees continue to shower flowers from the heaven as you're counting your blessings. As you're lost in ecstasy, Bhagwan has come to your home. You say to Bhagwan, "Please, please come inside." Bhagwan is readily agreed. He is coming through your door, and you want to give him a tour of your house. You want to show him every corner of your house. And you sing to Bhagwan ji Lord. I know that this is your house. And I thank you for the opportunity to live here, to be a custodian, to raise my family here for us to enjoy all these comforts and amenities. This doesn't belong to us, dear Lord. You have given it to us, and so to constantly remember that, dear Lord, we've we've constructed a little house in our house that exclusively belongs to you. You want to show Bhagwan your little altar that you have. You've taken the Lord and Radha Rani into your little altar. You have beautiful murtis. You have a murti of your favorite form of God. Bhagwan is looking at them and he's smiling. You have your dia there that you prepared this morning. You didn't light it yet. In anticipation of Bhagwan coming, so you say to him, Lord, you please light this lamp, light this dia. On this altar, so that every day of my life I can know that you yourself has triggered this brightness, this beauty, this happiness, this burning away of ignorance and distress and troubles. Whenever I am happy, I will remember you that you have kindled this lamp of success and illumination in my life. When things are not going my way, Lord, I will remember. That it is also light. It is your way of showing light to us, to help us to grow spiritually, making some things according to our perception that we don't agree with or that we consider unhappiness. Bhagwan has kindled that fire. He lit that dia of yours, and your heart is filled with cont- with content. You would really like Bhagwan to spend just a minute more, so you ask him, "Dear Lord, this is my most favorite chair in my house. Please take a seat here." You did spread a beautiful soft silken cloth, and you ask Bhagwan and Radha Rani to sit there. Even though your air conditioning is fine, you want to do more for Bhagwan. You're fanning him. You're fanning him with a, a paper or a cloth that you have in your hand, and you're looking at him and realizing that this is my eternal father, my friend, and my companion. And with your vision, you're drinking the divine bliss that comes out of every pore of the bodies of Radha Krishna, of your favorite form of God. Bhagwan has indicated to you that I have other devotees, and I have to go. But you want to sneak the opportunity to press his feet a little bit, and you're doing that very gently. He enjoys it. He said, "Lord, before you go, let me take that same fire that you have kindled and make it even further blessed." By doing arti on you, take that dia, hold it in your hand, and do arti on Bhagwan. Jai Jagadish Hare, 
Swami Jai Jagadish Hare Bhakt Jano Ke Sankat Das Jano Ke Sankat Shan Me Dur Kare Om Jai Jagadish Hare Om Jai Jagadish Hare Om Jai Jagadish Hare Hari Om Shanti 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 Vrindavan Bihari Lali Ki Jai